I'm at one end, you're at the other end. Definitely you. What, this wood? Yeah. What's he doing there? Uh, a lighthouse in the middle of Withensea. The reason the lighthouse is in the middle of Withensea. Oh my god. I'm knackered. Good morning, guys, on a blustery morning in Withensea. So, we did some metal detecting yesterday on Withensea Beach. Didn't find much, but only crap. Swinging. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We did some swinging on Withensea Beach. Uh, only found tat. So, we are going to take you for a walk into Withensea. We've never been here before. So, we don't know what it's like. We've looked on Google Maps, they don't look to be much here. But just across from where we parked on Promenade, there's a lovely mural. So I'll show you this. It's a new one, eh? Which one? <laughs> Being you. <laughs> oh, that's you. Definitely you. What? Driftwood? Yeah. Sunday tours. Cockle Cottage, oh, Trade Winds, Seagulls Rest. I'm at one end, you're at the other end. Very nice that. So, we're parked on North Promenade and uh, it don't cost you note. There's no restrictions, no time limit. Or at least I don't think there's any time limit. So there's two parts to the beach. There's up that way. So dogs are allowed on all the way up that way. But once you get past the lifeguard station, dogs are not allowed on the beach. So there's public toilets. There's a park. There's a little amusements just up there but first we're going to call off Titlow so once we've buried in Titlow we'll pick you back up so that's the public toilets behind me and then this is the part where dogs are not allowed on they watch lifeguard down there and then we come to what looks like some castle. So I've just noticed this. So this is a there's a church. Approximately one mile offshore from this point lies the site of the 13th century church of St. Mary the Virgin. I'm gonna say that's it, but that looks more than a mile away. It's eroded anyway. Look at this for a bin. A lighthouse. And it's for all your recyclables. So, what these are, we don't know. Oh, there's some plaques up here. Let's take you for a walk up here. So, it's a coat of arms of some sort. So if anybody knows what that is, please leave it in the comments below. And like a memorial. There's another one here. And then you come through and it takes you onto some steps onto the beach. And like I said, a thousand pound penalty charge. And it looks like there's a family activity trailing with him, see? Because I keep seeing these. Now, this is number seven. And there's a map that shows you where they are. 
and it tells you all about them. So we've got Crazy Golf. And it's got the miniature statue of the two castle towers. So we'll just show you a quick walk around here because there's music playing. A couple of food stalls. Looks like it's token right because it said yellow tokens and blue tokens, red tokens. Well, it's exploding, so you can't pull that on. So that was a quick run through at fair, and we just come up. I don't know what's up here. I don't think there's alt up here, is there? Uh, Some more at promenade. From here. Let's have a look. We then see fish trail. And then there's a crab. Emma Stoffard must have sculpted it. What's he doing now? Oh, we're a fishing boat then. So this, the fishing cobble wolf. The boat was built in 1970 at Ornsey and used by Jim and Steve Broxham for a number of years. They caught mostly lobster and landed a few cod. So as you come off the promenade, there's a little park here. A bouncing castle on it today. And then you come to amusements. Noticed there's a, I don't know, it's like a, what would you call it? An outdoor, I wonder if they do concerts there. If you know, put it in the comments. It's like oh, a yeah. stadium. It's like a stadium, thing. yeah. An outdoor stadium. There's a, a cafe at the back of the toilets, but that doesn't look to be open. It doesn't say what it is. Just there, lot. The blue dome bit. So you've got more amusements here. Pastime diners. Bedding stall. We've got a few shops that look shut. So there's the Ellis Cafe, Seasiders Ice Cream, and then you've got Seasiders Emporium. For you, Trish. You've got a boots. A few shops down there, but hotel, fish shop, lighthouse museum. I would have a walk up to that. So why would there be a lighthouse in the middle of Withensea and nothing near? the sea so leave it in the comments if you know why because I've looked and I can't see why 
you would put a lighthouse in the middle. So as you walk round the corner and you come up this residential street, there it is. <laughs> There's the lighthouse. And I don't believe you can go up it. So we'll see how much it is and see if we can video. And I might take you up. Or as far as you can get up. <laughs> yeah. No, I will make it to the top. Yeah, leave me in comments if you know why. I am going to ask, I think, why there's a lighthouse in the middle of a residential area. There's got to be a logical explanation. So the lighthouse is open, like it says here. And then the sign below states there's... You have no chance. Absolutely no chance. Watch this space. Right, there's 144 steps. Do you mind being on camera? No. Right. 127 feet. Yeah. Uh, before you get to the top, there's a landing. Just after that landing, there's some steep steps. About 20 of them. Right. Move forward, come down backwards. Right. Right. When you get to the top, obviously you see the same. There's a little window at the back and three blue steps. If you look out in that direction, you might see the Umber Bridge. Oh. But if you don't, good so me. So for what reason is Probably the lighthouse... That, oh, sorry. The reason the lighthouse is in the middle of Withens Sea is because when it was built, there were no towns. It was just sand dunes all the way around. There were two meters, but they were all sand dunes. Oh. And they built it here because it, the erosion and the sand dunes, if they had built it nearer the sea, it would have collapsed. So the, once they built it, the, the, there were no town whatsoever, and they built the promenade wall. Once they built the promenade wall, it stopped all the erosion. Ah. And so the town built around the lighter. So when you look at the town, the town is less than 130 years old. I don't think it will be. No. It is less than 30 years. So how old is the lighthouse then? It was built in eight, to start in 1882, finished in 1884. But there were six cottages at the back, that's all there was. Which were fishermen. The fishermen built, helped build the lighthouse because they got more money building the lighthouse than they did fishing. Oh. They were going to have a grand opening afterwards, but it got cancelled because the fishermen rebelled. Because although they got money from fishing, they got most of the income from plundering the wrecks. So they thought, hang on a minute, we just shot yourself in booty because we cut down a lot of the wrecks. So, oh. have, you been on the, have you been on the seafront? Yes. Have you seen the pier towers? Yes. Well, there actually was a pier. There's a photograph just through there. Oh, yeah, I think I've seen that. See it. it got knocked down, it got hit by three ships, two at the far end, which didn't do much damage. But there was a big storm and a ship hit this end, demolished the pier. Oh. The captain died. And at his inquest, they said, if there had been a lighthouse, then it probably wouldn't have happened, and that's why they got the water. Thank you very much. So I'll try and make it up these steps now. Thank you very much. I will. So I am heading right up there. So here goes the first step. So I did say further up there was a, a landing and I had to come down backwards. Well, that's going to be hilarious.
so I'll catch you when I get to the blue specs. So this is a view. But the guy said look out there. And you might be able to see it from the bridge. Oh my goodness. I actually made it to the top of the lighthouse. But we're on the descent down now. Down here, look. And I can't believe I actually did it. Oh, my legs are like jelly. you guys when I'm down there <laughs> yeah. so I've seen this bit so the film bit is here that the gentleman was on about So Kay Kendall acted with the famous actors such as Gene Kelly and Yul Brynner. Harrison in my fair lady Kendall's handbag. If this was smelly vision. You could smell the oldness of this place. And Kay Kendall was born six hours away at Stanley House in 1927. And here's the cafe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, 
música. She's so in it. We The lighthouse. So these are the cottages then, and over there, look. The gentleman in the lighthouse was saying, <laughs> beach up. Bathing machines. <laughs> back out and see if we can find Neil and Buddy. Right here somewhere. Oh. And this is the view from the back of the cafe. They're out here somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. Little things. A fisherman. And look who's there. And this air raid siren wall situated in Withensea Police Station, 1939 to 1945. I know, I've just seen it. You get too tall. Yeah, my legs are like that. So, that was a great experience going up Withensea Lighthouse and the kind gentleman inside uh, explaining why the lighthouse is in the centre of Withensea, which was really, really interesting. And as always, because I've got dog, I'll see it on YouTube when everybody else does. <laughs> yeah. At this point, I just want to say thank you to all our new subscribers and as old subscribers for keeping up with us and to uh, everybody that makes comments because it does help our channel a lot so Phil and Tina, thanks Kerry, thanks uh, Grumpy Grumpy and Mrs Grumpy, thank you very much and just for the weekend and just for the weekend there's Great. also a few more oh if you want to go over to uh, just for the weekends they do have a YouTube channel as well and we follow them and it's quite good. Uh, they do some very informative things. And I also want to say thanks to Pews on Tour who comment. Thanks Trish. I think that's it, isn't it? Oh, and thanks to everybody who I work with. And thanks to Kerry over in Australia. If you're watching Kerry, hi, hope you're okay. So that's the thanks out of way. You didn't thank me for fetching you. And thanks hun for fetching me. <laughs> and making me walk up that bloody lighthouse. My legs are like jelly. So we've been told there's another place to park up. So we're going to head back to Reckless, get sorted, see where it is, and we might head off up there. So we'll catch you in a bit. <laughs> 